Welcome back. You're watching McLaren Port Huron's Today's Health, and we're talking with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Leonard Karadimus. Okay, we've gotten to surgical options. What are they? So in general, uh, there are uh, two. If you have some type of, again, a very small portion of the people that have hip problems, uh, a cartilage tear or spur, you can go into the hip arthroscopically like you would a knee or a shoulder uh, and clean out the spurs, uh, remove or repair the torn cartilage. Um, for the most part, a lot of folks that have true persistent groin hip pain, it is osteoarthritis. And for that, there basically is a hip replacement. And how do you do a hip replacement? Well, hip replacements are, I have a model right here. I'll show you really quick. Um, I'll show you a, uh, a normal looking hip, which is basically that smooth white cartilage at the end of the bone in a socket. And then you have the uh, diseased hip where you've worn that cartilage uh, all down and you have basically bone on bone arthritis. Uh, the end of the bones do have nerves in them. When you wear that cartilage down, you have exposed nerves and that's what causes people to have that pain. So it's bone on bone, nerve on nerve pain. So we need to get rid of that. And the way you get rid of that is basically replace the ball and socket. You put an artificial socket in there. You put an artificial, we have a stem, you put it down into the canal, artificial ball and that's your new hip and you no longer have bone on bone, nerve on nerve contact, you have an artificial hip. Um, the way we do this, so basically you have to get in there and replace the hip. Traditionally, uh, you would make an incision on the outside or in the back and to get down here to replace this hip, you'd have to detach some tendons or muscles. So we could get in here, take the hip apart and replace it and put it back together. Nowadays, there's a modern approach called the direct anterior. So instead of coming from the side or the back, you come from the front of the hip. You make a very small incision, about four inches long, and going through the front and using a specialized table that we have at McLaren Port Huron, you're able just to spread the muscles apart, sneak in here, replace the hip, and just close up the skin without detaching any muscle, detaching any tendon, and that allows people to recover much, much quicker. That's just one advantage to the direct anterior hip. The other advantage is because we're doing it on the specialized table, um, we are able to bring in a motion picture extra machine, Barb, and I can actually, traditionally what we, we would do is, uh, from the side of the back, do the whole replacement, make sure it kind of look good visually, and then close everything up, take the patient to the recovery room and take a picture, make sure everything looks good. An x-ray. And by, that, by then you're obviously committed to where all the parts are. Right. Now, with the modern way of doing it, the direct anterior, I'm doing it under direct x-ray imaging. So I'm watching the whole thing on uh, an x-ray machine. So while I'm putting, for instance, the socket in, I'm watching the x-ray and I'm seeing exactly where to put this thing. And, and there's, and there's the, be the best positioning is obviously a certain amount of inclination, angle this way, angle that way. We know that's the best. And there's a little bit of latitude. You can be off a degree here, a degree there, and still be okay. But if you put this thing in perfectly, it will last longer. It's like putting a tire on the car, on your car. Okay. If you put it on just a little off, it's going to be okay. But over time, it's going to wear a little bit quicker than it normally would. With the direct anterior, I can put every hip in perfectly every time because I'm watching it. So I'm, I'm visualizing this. Now you've got the patient laying on the table. You've, you've done that small incision. About four inches. You've, you've pulled apart these muscles. Yeah. And now you've, you've got the, the bony structure sitting there. Yeah. And so you can not only see in but you see a bigger picture with the x-ray? Is that what's happening? You can see the, you, you can see the bone. So, so if, I, if I'm looking at this, uh, uh, you know, w w without the x-ray machine, I can kind of see, see everything. But with the x-ray machine, I can actually see exactly perfectly the angles that this okay. implant is going to go okay. in. Okay. That makes so much sense because, like you said, if it's, if it's just a little bit tweaked, to me that... It, It'll still work fine, Barb. It'll still work fine, but you can, you can, you know, like that tire on that car, it'll still work fine, but if you put it in perfect alignment, not only will it function better, it'll just last longer over time. And that's why doing these direct anteriors, we're also getting, you know, longer uh, lifespans out of these things. And by doing them, and you know, 
Some of the bugaboos, for instance, with hip replacement would be uh, leg length discrepancies. Yes. Once in a while, you put the hip in, and to get it to work properly, you had to lengthen things out or shorten them up. But now, again, under direct floral imaging, because we're able to put them in um, uh, perfectly every time, we also check for leg length and offset. So we can also avoid that kind of a problem. So you get rid of that problem as well. You get rid of malpositioning or the components being in the wrong position slightly, that goes away. Um, leg length problems go away. Um, you don't cut any muscle or tendon, so recuperation is super quick. In fact, most of my patients go home the day after surgery. Really? Um, so, the old, you know, one of the other things with old surgery, lateral or posterior side or back incisions, because you had to detach the tendon or muscle and reattach that, the other thing we'd have people do is, is restrict some of their activities for a month or two after surgery. Don't cross your legs, don't bend over more than 90 degrees to allow that tendon or muscle to heal properly. Since we're not doing any of that, there are no restrictions after direct anterior. After you have this surgery done, you can resume all activities the next day after surgery. Wow, that's really pretty amazing. It um, is pretty amazing. And Very I, exciting. And I'm thinking pain has got to be less too without, with less cut things cut apart just like other things we've talked about in the past like shoulders you know detaching muscles those were very uncomfortable for, for people so is this when you had to detach the muscle or the tendon and reattach it a lot of that was causing pain for people not doing that avoids that problem how do you actually attach the um the ball and socket, do you glue it or do yeah, you just set question. it there? They're, they're press fit uh, implants and there is coating on these things. You can see kind of this model shows a little bit, but basically we scratch fit them. You get something that fits super tight and then your body grows into the component and that, that makes it last longer. Eventually, sometimes cement, those kinds of fixation things can wear over time. But if we can get our bodies to grow into the implant, it's there for good. How long is that joint going to last? We're, we're, we're probably pushing north of 25 years now. Really? Um, with modern day implants. Modern day implants are going to be, and this is just a model I have for you, but modern, the modern plastic cups are just, they last longer. Uh, the balls are, are more and more ceramic balls and they last longer. And you know, like we talked about, the big thing is putting that thing in there uh, perfectly every time is going to increase the longevity. So it used to be you have don't even think about a hip replacement until you get to be 50, 60, whatever it is. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, wait, 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 because it only lasts a certain amount of time, and then there's big, there's, you know, it's long recovery. So people kind of hobbled along and live with their pain because they wanted to uh, to 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 wait because that's what they were told. Nowadays, though, there really isn't any need to wait. Wow, that's amazing. Tell me about recovery time. So, like I said, most of my patients do go home the first day after surgery. Sometimes you have to be there for uh, another day. Um, so you're going to be uh, uh, in the hospital one or two nights. You're able to fully weight bear on it immediately. Put all your weight on it right away. It is a little sore. A little, you know, it's uncomfortable for, for a little while. So we do have people use a, a walker, crutches for a week or two, a cane for a week or two. Most people nowadays, though, when they come to my office at week two, they're, they're walking in all by themselves. Um, you know, most people don't need physical therapy anymore uh, after direct anterior hip replacement. We certainly do it in the hospital. We do it at, you know, for, for a few weeks, like home therapy. But outpatient physical therapy, it used to be everyone needed it. Now I'd say maybe half the folks need it. Um, usually in a couple weeks you're driving. Um, I'd say a month and a half, two months so before you're resuming pretty normal activities. Well, that's a real change in mindset, isn't it? It, it is compared to, you know, it used to be three to six months. Now we're talking about, you know, a month and a half to two months. It's a, it's a huge difference for people. Great information today. Do you have any closing comments? If you're having hip pain, come in and have it checked out. Um, if you have bad arthritis in your hip, you shouldn't wait. The direct anterior your hip is a great procedure for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. If you have any questions about anything we talked about today, you can call us at Health Access. That's 1-800-228-1484. Or you can always go to our website. That's mclaren.org forward slash ph contact. You know, you can always get great, reliable health information, watch any segment of this program. Hey, we'll even send you a free program if you go to our website. That's mclaren.org forward slash phth. We hope you join us again next week for today's health. 
Today's Health is brought to you by McLaren Port Huron.